Welcome back to Satisfactory. Um, in between episodes, I uh, have uh, harvested some trees and foliage and stuff like that, and I've set up this little uh, uh, solid biofuel uh, production chain here. Since I noticed that some of my uh, power plants are running low. Now, this episode, I think we want to... I don't think I can remove that rock yet. I think I need um, explosives before I can remove it. I don't even remember what tier we get those in, but uh, we'll get them. Come on. There we go. So, yes, as I was saying, in this episode, I think we want to um, focus on um, structure, uh, build more foundations. Because um, I want to have the things that are temporary here be more permanent. So I am aiming towards some kind of uh, permanency in the structures. There we go. We can probably get up one more. There we go. Now, apparently, our concrete uh, container over there is full. So we should check our um, research and see what we uh, need to continue researching. Let's grab some concrete. We can put this back in. Sort, sort. also like to get rid of our dependency on uh, biomass but we need to get the next tier uh, of the uh, space elevator to get coal power plants so it is a bit early to go full-scale uh, megabase uh, as of yet um, We need the part assembly, the smart plating. Cable is something that we could probably manufacture. The question is, should we do it? Most of this is going to be torn down anyways. Ford. Oh, we need more cable. Um, logistics, production of course, craft bench, proof. Um, some cable. should be sufficient. Oh, the question is, how do I do that? Um, I guess I could place it there. going to bother
consumes 60 wire per minute. And if I run up there... Don't get stuck in the uh, pole on my way up, that helps. This thing produces 30 per minute and uses 15. So I probably should make another one. Which then begs the rather uh, there and I can get a foundation on top of that and deconstruct that the thing is I would like to be able to get up there without having this thing in the way but that seems to be challenging it's not that I'm going to go up here, up here very often though if I build another foundation there, encroaching another's clearance, that's probably the uh, the smelter. Let's remove that. Now, if I build like that. This would only make things worse. Um, I don't think building a ramp here makes any kind of sense. Does that do anything at all? Not really. I'm, I still have to jump, but it'll be fine. Let's uh, have more foundations here. What I can do, of course, is uh, build foundations out from here. Like this. I can have uh, the ramp come up here instead. I do need that one, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. And instead of having that ramp like that, let's build the ramp like this. Now let's build one like that. And then... Not like that. Like this. There we go. That's better. Now, of course, I don't have anything to protect me from falling down, but uh, I'll just have to make sure to not be clumsy. For the ones who were laughing there, I heard you. Now... This one needs to go as well. We need two constructors. And we also need mergers for them, and splitters, so let's not build it too close to the mountain there. That should work. And we have two of them. And then if I build this thing... ...here. I can connect that to that. close. Yes, it is. There we go. Like that. And I think I want that to stop there. So if I have a conveyor pole... Um, I'm actually going to build that there. 
Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I can remove that pole. Then I can build that belt down there. It still looks a bit unorganized, but it's better than it was. And we need to remove that as well. Have I mentioned how easy it is to get sidetracked in games like this? Because this isn't what I was supposed to do, but uh, apparently it's what I'm doing. Okay, try again. That should be sufficiently far away, but I'm not sure if we can build a splitter here. I think the uh, we can. Interesting. Hold on. There we go. So this splits off into there, and then we need to have this one and like that. Can we connect that directly? Yes, we can. Copper ingots. I just stick that in manually. And then this one should be set to create wire. And this one should be set to create wire. Create. <laughs> um. Power. Power is good. Can I get power? There. I think that one is full. That one, on the other hand, isn't. That looks a bit creative. But creative is good. Not terribly concerned about things looking overly creative. Um, now we need one power pole. Come on. We need one power pole there. I don't think we need any more power poles. So we can build the next power pole at the end here. can connect to that one. This thing outputs 30 parts per minute. This one takes 15 and outputs 30. So yeah, now we should get a full belt of copper wire. Could just stick in these stacks of uh, copper ingots.
should be another pure limestone down there if we need more concrete at some point, but I think we are quite good on concrete for the time being. The only thing I might want to consider is moving that thing, storage container, into the base. I think I didn't have to just stick on to those uh, final 15 ingots. Like that. Plenty of wire in here. So we're getting 60 per minute. And this thing uses 60 per minute as well, so... So what we need is reinforced iron plates and iron rods. Let's grab a few more stacks of iron plates. Couple of stacks of iron rods. And then we need screws. And while I do this crafting of the reinforced iron plates, I will just pause the recording. There we go, I also created some uh, biomass out of the uh, stuff I had, so I could put more of that in here. Um, biomass, let's sort this. Excellent. Um, so we need more iron plates and we are good to go with the uh, Logistics MK2. I probably should set up a storage container with the uh, screws as well, but uh, meh. I want more permanency, even though that is hard at the beginning of the game. Uh, logistics game here too. Uh, this, this. Come on. And 200 rod, 300 rods, and 200 concrete, and boom. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. It gives us the stackable conveyor poles, which I am very fond. Now we can build belts MK2, but I believe those require uh, the um, reinforced iron plates. We're not quite ready to make those yet. Um, speaking of which... Let me um, disconnect this one and this one. Produces 120. That means it can saturate one MK2 belt. I don't have minor MK2 yet. 
When I do, that will be 240. And each smelter takes 15. No, 30. So if I can get MK2 belts up there to those four, and MK2 belt up there to those four, I will have eight smelters functioning. And each of those smelters will output 30, so I can have four making uh, iron plates, and I can have four making iron rods, which I believe is 10 per minute, and this produces 15 per minute. Oh! Oh, 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 I had completely forgotten that. Hmm. So I just need four of these. And I can have six of the others. Does that even make sense? Two of these are 30. So one, two, and then six, yes. this thing is going to do very much uh, before this thing is more or less empty so let's take out a good amount and under organization we can make a personal storage box we can uh, make a few of these here sort these and place iron plates in here And one thing that I do want to do, which I think we can do now while we wait for that, is go and find the uh, Caterium node. That is somewhere down here along the mountainside. Probably heavily guarded by uh, horrible things, but... Uh, we can take them on. Just wish I had a Vibro Sword. this what the heck just a cave that leads to nowhere This isn't a maze, because then I'm already lost. Oh. There's a Mercer Sphere in here. I'll just leave it there, because I don't really have that much... space in my mind. Ah, finding the way out of this again. Okay. Snack tree. There is a snack tree as well. one. 
What is bauxite? We don't need that yet. Snack tree. I think that we are near the... If I'm not mistaken, this is the other side of the poison field. Yep, and there should be uh, some iron nodes down here. Together with some uh, angry puppies. Um, let me just quickly check my um, my map. I'll just pause while I do that. No, I've gone f way too far. Let's get back down. slug. It is. Oh, one of those things. Can I pick this up without you farting in my general direction? Oh well, no, but I managed to pick it up at least. Yes, I think the limestone is up there. Which means the Caterium should be somewhere uh, this direction. There's doggies. But the question is, what the heck are they guarding? Or are they just roaming? They don't usually just roam, though. There's another poison field. So that hard drive down there, the question is which one of these hard drives that is. I'm going to pause the recording again and uh, check my actual location. Wait, there is a hard drive up there, I think. Which means that the Caterium should be up there. Well, there's only one way to figure that out. Guess I can. Build like this. Could do ramp spot. Nothing else, there are wasps up here, so that by itself 
says something about there being something up here. I think the wasps are the most annoying enemy in the game. Oh, what do you know? And it's pure. New technologies can be developed based on this new, superconductive, gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. I will just set up some um, hand miners here for the time being. Why did I have the necessary resources for it? I don't remember how much Kateri more I need. Now what? Where did you come from? Oh, this is bad. This is not ideal at all. Okay, let's get the nuts back in our hand. There we go. Now we can go back up and uh, deal with that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 96, 99. Um, I need to build uh, an equipment workshop. And let's just make uh, three portable miners, I think. There we go, and we can take this one down again. This is over there, so getting the Caterium helps. Now, um, since I probably need to get a back up here, it would be easier to just have ramps. Probably easier to build them this way instead. Doggy times two. They can run that way, I'm fine with that. Here's Doggy times two. You can get stuck there. I'm fine with that. There's another one. I have no idea how far they will bother following me, but... Uh, I seem to have managed to, to lose them, so that's fine. So it is a ways out, that Caterium, but I can just belt it back home. That gives us access to the uh, Caterium boots. 
that's what they're called and also the Caterium um, power poles which uh, would greatly benefit the uh, base building and base planning here let's grab the stack of uh, screws in there seems like this thing is empty no power okay I guess the power plants ran out of uh, bio uh, fuel then one two three Stuck in there. That stack. Do I need to pick up another one? No. Okay, that should keep us covered for a while. All I have to do is turn them on. No, they already turned on, so that's good. And we have to go to the MAM and Caterium. So it takes 10 to research the first. Now this is completed. New resource added to the resource scanner. And then we can research the ingots, which takes another 50. That leads to quick wire, which requires 50 ingots of Caterium. So I think that in between episodes I will uh, belt in that Caterium to the base and uh, set that up. I don't know how much is left in these, not much. Not much indeed. This one on the other hand is going to take some time because of my miscalculation on the uh, parts of how many ingots is required to uh, make one of these. I guess I could uh, overclock them, but um, for now I don't see the point in doing that. Uh, let's stick these things in there. I don't need biomass, and I can take these things out as well. Put that inside. Okay, then I can put the biomass in here. I can put one stack of biofuel in there. I need one stack for the um, chainsaw. But I can also top up these... Um, power plants while I'm here. Okay. Well, I think that we, we end the episode there. So thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next one.